Uh, you know, I always come in every game with my mind uh, ready to go. You know, um, always prepared and just in case something happened like this, you know, to keep the team going and uh, keep their heads up and keep fighting for it. What does it mean for you to get to a World Cup? Uh, it means everything. You know, I've uh, never experienced it since I've been here the first time and um, leaving out my senior year with a bang. You know, and I get uh, another month with the guys, the group of guys, and they're they great guys. Mar, were you able to find a rhythm a little bit? It looked like, you know, after a couple carries, there wasn't much there, but it looked like you kind of – Found your rhythm like you used to out there tonight. Yeah, you know, um, I just came on the sideline and uh, talked to my O line and quarterback and uh, just readjusted on what they was running. And, um, and I told them just keep blocking like theirs and I find some holes and make it work. How much can it mean to win a game like this? I mean, I'm sure you rather, would have rather put up 50 points as an offense and blown them out, but to, to win when things go tough a little bit, that, that's got to mean something. Yeah, that shows that uh, our team, you know, we don't been through so much this year, you know, and uh, we always were taught to roll the ball out and go play football and. Uh, for four quarters, just keep keep fighting and keep fighting, and we'll lift our head up at the end of the game and see what the outcome will come. Well, describe what the locker room was like afterwards. Yes. Uh, a lot of energy, you know, uh, a lot of people, a lot of seniors crying, a lot of younger players uh, going up to the seniors, you know, uh, telling us good job, we got a bowl game, you know, we just, and not just having fun with the coaches, you know, because we, like I said, we never experienced this since 2010, and um, it's, it's a great opportunity. Jones raves about Kerman to its leadership. Can you kind of describe here some examples of his leadership and get you guys through this? Yeah, Kurt, you know, uh, Kurt is that guy, you know, that voice. Um, and uh, he's been doing it since his freshman year, since we came in. And, you know, when Kurt say something, everybody listen. And uh, Kurt, he never come in no day with a bad attitude. He always high energetic, keep a smile on his face. Played, uh, you can't tell if he was a freshman or a senior because he get along with so many people on the team. Um, I say he uh, stayed focused. You know, he never let bad plays get to him. Um, as a young guy stepping up for us, and uh, I just talked to him out on the sideline. Like I say, just keep your head up, and we're gonna keep driving. And uh, he showed a lot of leadership in the offense as well. Is it difficult at all, you know, when you have a few weeks where you, you know, you don't have the workload that you probably would like to, to kind of stay in tune to, to where a situation happens like this, you know, where, where the top guy goes down and, and you get to have the most of the workload? Is it difficult well, at all to stay in tune? No, nah, it's not. You know, like I said, I've been through this before going even three, four years, you know, and um, only thing I can say, we just going to keep grinding, you know, and um, wish him, you know, to get back, you know, uh, we got a, like I said, we got a couple of weeks until we get ready for the bowl game. So I'm, there ain't no doubt that he'll be back. And on until the end, you know, we just gonna keep grinding and keep grinding until the seven win. You talked about Kurt. How big a lift was the defense tonight in their play? Uh, I say they stepped up big time. You know, we had a um, couple of missed assignments, but uh, like I said, just snap and clear. You know, go to the next play and uh, don't worry about the last. You know, whether it's good or bad. And um, Kurt getting hurt and coming back, that showed that he wanted to win tonight. And uh, that just made everybody else step up um, around them. Well, you talked about never going to a bowl before. Just how big of a relief is it to you to be having like bowl preparation meetings next without saying goodbye? Uh, it's to tell you, I don't know how the outcome gonna be Monday. Uh, I've never been, but um, I'm, I'm just glad to say that uh, we're gonna decide what we're gonna play at for the bowl, and um, you know, and I'm gonna just smile and keep going because, like I said, I get another month with the uh, group of guys and. Uh, I just want to enjoy every moment with him. Well, how dejected was Jalen? You kind of knew that he wasn't coming back in the game, and how much did you talk to him? I talked to him every time I came on the sideline. You know, I told him to keep your head up. You know, things happen. You know, like I told, I've been through a lot. You know, since I've been here, and I told him, man, uh, you got three more years, and um, we're gonna get to a bowl game no matter what. You know, he he never had his head down. I just always talked to him if I felt like it was bothering him or not, knowing that this is hometown. A couple more. Marlon, how, how healthy are you that you can say? I mean, you don't. Still like 100% like yourself. I mean, how close are you? Uh, I don't know. You know, um, I always, you know, my coach always told me, Coach G, uh, running back, never play 100%. You know, um, 60, 70%, that's good, good enough to play. And, you know, um, like I said, I fought through injury this season, but I never let it slow me down. Um, I get in and do what I do, and um, and hopefully, you know, uh, little people up around me, you know, showing that I'm going to keep fighting because I want to win. You guys know that Cam Sutton had that kind of return ability? Uh, yeah, I did. I always mess with him. Uh, he got a dog named Zeus that, you know, just run around the house all the time. He my next door neighbor. And um, I tell him, get a punt return and just tuck your tail and run like Zeus. And he did that tonight. And 
and, and he scored a touchdown and it made me proud.